So ironic, really, because I uh, I seen an, uh, about four or five years ago. I, I seen an advert in the uh, uh, article in the local paper about this. And and there were volunteers there. Yeah, yeah. So I, I actually met Michael and uh, and John and all that up in uh, up in Austria there, and we had a couple of meetings and all that. And then of course COVID came then, so uh, everything got put back then, didn't it? So then I say, and then uh, and then obviously then it came up then, and then. It came through. It came up to, up, up to uh, Beavers. And I said, "Oh, yeah, I know all about that." <laughs> so uh, it's quite ironic, really. I'm coming to do it now. So. <laughs> when you started six years ago, you couldn't have imagined what lay in front of you. Otherwise, we wouldn't have started. Clearly, I mean, <laughs> no. It's um, it's been a, it's been it's been a challenge. It's been. Um, troubling it's been and and exhilarating at times when things eventually get into place but it's been it's been quite a quite an effort but but a huge achievement I mean the team that have um, worked through all the uh, all the things that we've had to do including the pandemic of course um, things that have cropped up that weren't expected as the uh, when, when the program started hugely exciting to be here today you know, obviously Shro Shropshire Council is an organisation that represents the people of Shropshire and we try and do the very best for Shropshire that we can. And, um, you know, this, this will bring, once we get it through to, to the Welsh end, it's going to show a significant increase in the amount of tourism and, excuse the pun, through flow, if I can say it properly, you know, that, that um, for local businesses as, as well as people travelling the Montgomery Canal. You know, that has to be a good thing and, and, and it's right and proper that Shropshire Council, you know, help help to, you know, follow people who are leading on, on achieving it. There's plenty of volunteers though, but they do need a bit of money as well. Is there going to be any money forthcoming from Shropshire Council? I, probably not. We At the moment we're looking at making £51 million worth of savings. That doesn't mean to say that we can't, you know, put in for, for um, grant funding you know, as, as one-offs if, if they become available. When they become available, if they're there, we'll, we'll bid for them in a professional way and fingers crossed that we get them. So it's going to be a while yet, but it's a good step in the right direction. It is a very good step in the right direction. It's been a long time coming, um, but here we go. As you can see, it's happening. <laughs> What's it feel like today for you? <laughs> it's so exciting after after all this time, all the effort that we've been through with the technical details for the bridge, the uh, fundraising, the legal documentation, the arrangements with the uh, Canal and River Trust, with the Highway Authority, with the neighbouring landowners. By golly, to, to, to have got here, I sometimes think we thought, thought we'd never get here, you know. <laughs> Really? Yes. This is this is a, a a small job for Beaver or a big job? Oh, it's a, it's a medium sized job. I say there's a very uh, complex job uh, with all the uh, earthworks and all the support structures to keep the road up. Uh, so how, what's the first thing you've got to do then? I mean, there's, a, is, there's a great yeah. mound of earth where you want to put the bridge. Basically. So basically, the first thing we do is uh, we uh, remove the existing road. And we do that by uh, a planer, so we uh, plane it all up into little bits and then we can uh, reuse them. Then scrape all the uh, existing uh, highway structure, all the stone from underneath it. And then stockpile that for reuse later in, in, the, in the project. And then basically we, we uh, do the earthworks of the, uh, the footprints of the bridge. And then we're going to store, store, stockpile everything over in the back side there. And try to reuse as much material as we can back, in, back into the bridge then. So presumably you're on to the next problem now. <laughs> this one's sorted. Yes, um, yes, we've got we've got links of dry canal either side of us, and it's a question now of getting the um, uh, Shop Union Canal Society volunteers to get them the funding um, so that we can make sure that they can carry on the work that they do to re, uh, uh, re recreate, restore the canal channel um, from Crick East down to Schoolhouse Bridge and then on through Panton Pan and Manic ultimately. More power to your elbow. <laughs> Good luck with it. Yeah, yeah I, Good luck. It'll, be, it'll be fine. Like, it'll, look, it'll look grand when it's all open and all that.
Sorry. Because the minute you take your hat off and throw it on the air, you know what's going to hit you on the head and hurt you, don't you? Your own fucking hat. <laughs> Oh, okay.